Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to raise an exception in Python using this raise keyword. And we have seen how to raise an exception using the base class, which is exception or the subclasses of this exception class, for example, the value error or any other error, which is the subclass of this exception. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your custom exception classes and use them to raise exception in Python. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a custom exception class here. So let me create a class and I'm going to name it as coffee to hot exception. And to create your own custom exception class, you need to inherit from the exception class. So you just need to provide exception as the super class here inside the parentheses. And then after the colon, you can uh, just define the init method to provide the message. So it takes one argument, for example, msg, which stands for message. And now what we need to do is we need to pass this message to the constructor of this exception class. And how to do that? You can do that using the super function. So you can use super and then call the init function here, which means we are calling the init method of this exception class using this super function. And we just need to pass the message, which comes as an argument of your custom exception class to the super class, which is the exception class. And that's your custom exception class. Now I can pass this class instead of this base exception class. Similarly, to create the coffee to cold class, I can uh, once again write coffee to cold here. And instead of using this subclass of exception, I can uh, give here my own custom exception class. So let's run this program and let's see what happens. So because right now the temperature which we have provided here is 10, which means this falls in this condition, which says coffee to cold. So we are seeing this exception, which says coffee to cold. And then it's going to show us this message, which says coffee to cold. Now we have made this exception class explanatory enough so that we don't require this coffee to cold message. Instead of this coffee to cold message, we can give some more information for the user. For example, we can write here coffee temperature and then we can provide the information of the coffee temperature which the user has provided. So self dot underscore underscore temperature and same we can provide in the coffee to hot exception message. One more thing which we need to do here is we need to convert this temperature into a string. So we can use this method str to convert from the integer or the float value to the string value. So this is just the type casting from the integer to the string. And now we are going to run our program and see what's the result here. So you can see now the result says coffee to cold exception and then it shows the temperature which is provided by the user. Let's say this temperature we change from 10 to 100 and once again run the code. Now it's going to say coffee to hot and it's going to display the temperature of coffee which is 100 here. So let's rewind what we have learned about creating our own custom exception class. So in order to create your own custom exception class, you need to inherit from this exception base class or the super class and then you can create any custom class with any name and for passing the message which you provide as the first argument of your exception you can just create an init method which takes this message and pass it to the init method of your super class which is the exception class so this is how you can create your own custom exception classes and use them to raise the exception in Python. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.